Good morning. So, this is day three. The 24th of April. Oh, Game of Thrones comes on today. I need to find like a link. I have to find. <laughs> oh, look at the same. Uncurling life alone. I love Florence. Let me turn this down. Yeah. Don't want copyright. So basically, I'm just wearing gray, black tights. I might try to do hot yoga today. And yeah. I might do hot yoga today. I might go in town and do that. But it's going to snow today. But they say that it snows heavy in the mountains and not so much on the street. So I don't know yet. I am. Yeah, this bra is kind of tight. It just has like little sparkles on the bottom. But this one I'm wearing with a dark gray cardigan. And. Yeah, I'm gonna go have breakfast soon. And then, yeah, let me show you my makeup. My makeup is so neutral. And I got, um, not Goddess, Iconics by the House of Lashes on. And I just love, love, like look. It just flares out. That's why everybody loves this lash, it's so pretty. And I'm wearing, I think, Vintage Lip Gloss by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's probably called Vintage. If not, I'll put the correct name. But I started wearing lip gloss again, and I really like it. So, yeah, very simple, basic makeup. And, yeah, that's what I pretty much just wanted to talk about. Today is not going to be, there we go. Today is not going to be anything special. So I'm not going to record. I'm just, like, checking in for Sunday. And yeah, huh? What else do I want to talk about? I can't wait for Game of Thrones. I have to find like a link online to watch because I ain't wait until I come back home on May to be catching up at Games of Thrones. Like I've been obsessed. I got into Games of Thrones like a couple of months ago before school started. I know that for a fact. And I I made a subscription like a free trial of HBO Now, and I watched every season from the beginning. It was like, I was like, why are all these people on this train? Like, what's this show about? Like, why is this so awesome to people? And I'm like, it's like medievals. Like, I don't really like it. The only medieval show I ever watched was like, The Tudors, which was really interesting. But yeah, so I watched it. I didn't eat. I didn't sleep. All I did was watch that show. I didn't do anything but catch up on all of it. It is so good. And I can't wait to like, watch it. Like, I have to wait. It's six hours ahead in Germany and I'm in New York so six hours back so when it's 12 a.m. in New York it will be like 6 a.m. in Germany so I have to wait till like 7 a.m. tomorrow to watch it so I can't wait and yeah so that's all I just have my hair straight and that is my outfit my bra seat through I might just change it because it's really distracting okay yeah this camera is so heavy to hold in one hand Okay, yeah, so that's it for today. I'll probably add some snippets if I could, but that's going to be pretty much it for Wednesday. I mean, Sunday. Today's Wednesday, Sunday. All right, bye. Okay, so I'm coming back from having some dinner, and I was like, let me be greedy and try out some chocolate that I've never tried out in life, except for these familiar ones over here. So there's this one I already opened savagely called Bueno Kinder. And it's, I already bit into one of them. It looks like this. And it comes in four pieces. It's like Twix, but it's light and crispier. And it's flaky, so it's easy to just crunch into. And it's not as crunchy as the Twix, but it tastes nice. Let me try another one. Okay, here we go. Oop, I crushed one. Hmm. Excuse my makeup, it looks jacked up. But I had this on for all day. Hmm. It tastes like, I think it has a little bit of marshmallow in it. I think so. Okay. Let me try to fix the lighting. Okay, that works out a little bit. Awesome. Okay. Now, I'm going to try this one. Called lion. 
It's by Nestle. Looks like that. It looks like, you know what this looks like? Is it Crunch? Isn't Crunch the same company Nestle? Mmm. As you can hear, it's really crunchy. This tastes like something I had before. Not payday. Hmm. Do you see inside? It's like caramel, layers of wafer, chocolate. Hmm. So. Mm. Good old fashioned Twix. No difference. No difference. Okay. And the packaging looks different. This is Twix. Sorry, Kit Kat. My life will be better. Okay. Hmm. Excuse my boobage. I was changing my clothes. Mmm. Yep, tastes a good old fashioned Kit Kat to me. I'm gonna go to bed. Not go to bed. It's like, is it 9 o'clock now? I think it's heading to me. No, it's 7 30 around now. I'm gonna finish packing. I have to pack light and try to figure out what makeup I should bring with me, but I need to pack it. Pack it. Package. <laughs> Pack my clothes and my makeup for London. I fly tomorrow and tomorrow's Monday. Today's Sunday. If I'm up late, I'm gonna try. Nah, I can't be up late. In the morning time, I might go to the mall to see if I could get certain things and I'm gonna try to watch Game of Thrones. I was like, what's the name? Game of Thrones online. So yeah. Alright, that's it for today. Mmm. See you in London. Okay, so I just got back from Skyland Mall and I just wanted to show you something that I always wanted to get because I don't have this um, in my ensemble, ensemble, in my wardrobe. So, and it's my first purchase ever at Zara. So I just wanted, I wanted to share the moment, you know? So I'm changing up my shopping places. And you know what? Let me lay it out. So earlier in the week, you saw me look at this at Zara, and I just went back for it because I love the whole rouging right here and also right here. And it just looks so nice when I have it on. I can't wait to, wait to style this. I'm just super excited because I always wanted it. It was 50 euros. <laughs> don't judge me. Don't judge me. I got it in an XL because it fits so well. Um, yeah, and I just absolutely love how it looks and that's the back it's so awesome i can't do any more really any more clothes shopping because i did enough at h&m and my suitcase was already 42 pounds so i can't be carrying so much more um but i did get some treats like i'm eating a lot of sweets which is terrible but <sighs> i went to cost 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 i was about to say cost though pasta and I got me a cheesecake because you know I'm a cheesecake lover and a raspberry white chocolate cookie because Tommy me that sound amazing so yeah Costco cookie Costco pasta and that that is how that deliciousness look like <laughs> Oh my god, it tastes amazing. It tastes like a little bit of coconut. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And it's so crispy. I love it. That's some good cookies. Okay. I also got a cheesecake. It's a New York style cheesecake. I already packed already. Um, my flight leaves around 6 p.m. I am definitely going to leave like two and a half hours earlier because I have to take, I think, train S8. 
to main station and try to find myself to terminal one at the airport so i'm leaving way ahead because i am not good with directions at all and i always get lost and um yeah can't wait to go to london ah! okay so i'm gonna film more about that but i was like why not show you all the food i'm eating so you'll be like she gained weight oh yeah that's why <laughs> so that's a uh, new york cheesecake and i don't have a spoon so let's just Take a nice bite. Mm. It's like a really good temperature of the cheesecake. It's like chilled, but not too cold. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. I need another bite of this cookie. Mmm. Mmm. This is too delicious. Okay, so I thought it would be cool to show you the difference between euros and American dollars. So this is 50 euros. And I just like the fact that their money is so colorful. I think it looks so cool. It's a five. It's like they put more artisticness into the appearance of money. And it's a ten dollar bill. Kind of looks like the eyeshadow look I wore yesterday. <laughs> and here is change. This is a dollar. So this dollar is supposed to be what our American dollar is. I got several of them. This is how the front of their dollar looks like. Oop, hitting the camera. Another dollar, another dollar. Another one. Another one. This is what 50 cents look like. I wish I had a 50 cent coin from the States, but this is how 50 cents looks like in Europe okay and then this is the back of it no this is the back of a 20 cent this is how a 20 cent look like this is pretty cool and then we have five cents which is like copper looking like how our penny looks like American penny and then here's a two cent here's the American five dollar bill and look at this fancy five dollar bill, a five dollar euro, five euro. And then here's a twenty dollar bill. I wish I had, I had a twenty, but I broke it so I could get a ten and a five, so I could show you how the different kinds of the monies. And yeah, that's it. Um, yeah, isn't that an interesting uh, little skit for you? <laughs> okay. Let's see how long it says it takes. If you can see. Ah, uh, Essex is coming. We gotta go. Uh, let's figure 
about where 24 is. B24 is the other way according to that sign. I wonder, huh, I wonder what stores are here. Mm. Airport food really is expensive. bathroom is not legit like look at this place and here's another mirror here's another mirror and here is their sinks still at the airport my flight doesn't leave until like 30 minutes So it's the next day. I just woke up, took a shower, straightened out my hair, even though it's looking crazy right now. I straightened it out. Um, I'm in London. It is Tuesday, the 26th of April, I believe. And I'm at the Hilton on Tooley Street. Um, yeah, I'm going to figure out how to get breakfast because breakfast in this hotel is expensive. So there's many shops around. And I'll see where it takes me. I'm going to put some stuff away. Because as you can see, if it's not too dark, I have a whole bunch of crap here. All that shit here needs to disappear into there, which is like little shelves, and I need to organize my life. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll do some makeup. I don't feel like wearing makeup today. It's just one of those days. I don't know. But um, yeah. What else am I going to do? Do makeup, figure out graphics, and then walk the London Bridge. And try to go to places like museums and stuff like that. Hopefully I don't get lost because I really don't want to get lost. That's like one of my fears. I don't want to get lost. <laughs> Especially in a foreign place. And um, yeah, we'll see where it takes us. And catch you later.